Hello everyone, it's been a while since our last uh, upload. Now we have the um, latest video update up for you as we monitor Typhoon Mawar, so known as uh, Bagyong Ambo in the Philippines, first uh, cyclone to form or enter inside the Philipp Philippine area of responsibility. Uh, it is the 2nd of June, um, 08 Zulu, 4 p.m. Philippine time or 5 p.m. Uh, Japan time. Um, we are monitoring Typhoon Mawar. Uh, as it moves um, along the Philippine Sea east of Luzon, again, look, uh, was last located approximately 240 kilometers east northeast of uh, Ilagan Isabela, or around 260 kilometers east of um, the city of Tugagarao. Maximum sustained winds are currently at 120 kph, gusting to 150. Um, Remember that these winds are one minute sustained winds and are taken from the JTWC warnings. Um, JMA, which is the official uh, warning agency in the Pacific, uh, sli has uh, slightly lower intensities mainly due to them being using the 10 minute warning. So please be reminded for them, uh, Mawar is currently a severe tropical storm, so not a typhoon status just yet for them. Uh, anyway, Mauer is currently moving north northwest, uh, 10 kph, but uh, we do expect it to start moving north uh, later tonight or into tomorrow. Looking at the um, latest visible image, you see the expansive central dense overcast, and uh, it seems to be an eye trying to form in the center of the storm again east of um, Isabela. And uh, as so of um, 11 a.m. this morning. Uh, Pagasas issued uh, signal number one uh, warnings for uh, the following provinces Aurora, Isabela, Cagayan, Baboyan Island, the Batanes group of islands, mainly along the um, northeastern uh, part of Luzon, basically, due to the threat of um, gusty winds, rough surf, and also that sporadic uh, moderate to even heavy rains. Uh, we, we can see the outer bands actually. Um, affecting some of the um, municipalities and, and areas here in the eastern seaboard of Luzon. However, you can also s you can see the, the storm itself is far away from Luzon to really bring severe or stormy conditions. So, in terms of uh, typhoon force winds, we're not really expecting that as of right now. Um, the however, this storm this uh, continue to intensify. Uh, so you can, as I noted earlier, the seems to be an eye forming there. And uh, here is the latest microwave image, uh, satellite um, image here showing it seems the eye wall trying to continue to form and develop quite nicely um, inside the inside the storm. Again, no um, clear, uh, well-defined eye just yet on the visible image, nor in the infrared. You can see uh, you see earlier here, um, but the microwave does suggest the formation of an eye wall. Um, again with the with the banding curved banding wrapping around the center, uh, so indicative of the, the continuous uh, intensification of this storm and taking advantage of the uh, favorable conditions around the Philippines uh, as of right now. We've talked about the winds and the um, rotate uh, the uh, tropical storm force winds now extending only around 120 kilometers away from the center, so. Um, offshore, uh, the, I'm sorry, the winds are strong, the strongest of winds are offshore and uh, ex not expected to affect the um, inland areas here in Luzon. However, uh, do expect winds around 30 to even 50 kilometers per hour and even occasional gusts of tropical storm force are embedded along those um, strong rain bands uh, brought about by uh, Mawar. And as it even as it moves north, you can still expect uh, rains to form uh, and also impact parts of southern Luzon, particularly Bicol region and also central and southern Luzon, including Metro Manila, for the next uh, 12 to 24 hours. Here we can see the um, rain uh, rate data from the satellite AMSU. Fortu unfortunately, we don't have Doppler radar images from Pegasus so right now, so we're only approximating the um, rain rate inside the storm and you can see that the uh, within the 200 kilometer diameter um, uh, radius I'm sorry see the heaviest rains are confined so well away from from land however do expect again those uh, rain bands and uh, pop thunderstorms 
enhanced by malware and also those inflow bands, southwesterly wind flow basically, and um, affecting still affecting parts of southern Luzon and even central and uh, western Visayas. And again, uh, majority of Luzon uh, receiving light to moderate rains with rain rates of around 5 to 10 millimeters of hour, uh, per hour. So expect that to continue for the next uh, day or so. In fact, some of the areas here in southern Luzon and even in Visayas have recorded around uh, 50 to 70 millimeters of rain in the past 24 hours, bringing the threat to flash floods and landslides. We've seen urban flooding uh, in parts of the in parts of Metro Manila in the past two days, uh, coinciding again with the the um, nearing start of the school year there. So, not a good timing, definitely. But as far as the heavy rain threat goes, you're not really expecting anything from from Mawar, but he, uh, keep an eye out for um, for those outer rain bands affecting the northeastern part of Luzon for another day or so. That's why we have the signal warnings out from from uh, Pagasa. Now, as for the intensification of the storm forecasting, um, again the storm is situated in an area of light to moderate wind shear and five to fifteen knots. So you can see here in this image from CIMSS, and as it moves north, uh, I can still expect uh, wind shear to remain uh, low to moderate, basically around uh, 20 knots or or lower. And also the high ocean heat content here in the Philippine Sea, as you can see, um, continuing to help the storm intensify and again reach that typhoon status. It will remain in a fairly favorable um, oceans in the next three days, expecting it to peak at category 2 intensity actually by the JTWC. As for the for, uh, forecast track, you can see the um, steering flow in the atmosphere. The dominant steering pattern here is the subtropical ridge situated in the Pacific Ocean. And again, as you can see, the storm is tracking the western periphery of that ridge and is expected to turn to the northeast as, as it rounds that ridge in response to the, the um, mid-latitude trough that should weaken the, the ridge in the next 12 to 24 hours. And um, the pattern also is showing a fairly zonal or fairly flat flow actually south of Japan. And what will happen is that uh, the pattern will stay in the next five days or so according to the models and that should help keep the storm away from uh, away from mainland Japan. Um, however, as you can see, the ridge is uh, positioned fairly close to Okinawa and you can see the track is uh, modeled fairly uh, well by the computer models as of right now. The consensus is that it will uh, move to the northeast and uh, pass fairly close to Okinawa by um, as early as uh, Tuesday morning and then again uh, remaining fairly uh, far enough south of uh, south of Japan. Um, compared actually from yesterday, same time, computer models you can see uh, has shifted to the north uh, and brings it much closer to Okinawa than previously uh, forecast. So um, right now it does look like the storm uh, will uh, pass within 200 kilometers of Okinawa, passing probably between Minami, Minami Islands and uh, the Okinawa Islands by Tuesday morning. And as we move on to the official forecast series from JMA, latest uh, forecast from them, series like Zulu, taking it very close to Minami Islands actually by Tuesday uh, afternoon and then remaining well south of mainland Japan as it uh, begins extratropical transition. JTWC also showing uh, same general idea, although much closer to Okinawa, actually passing again, as I said, between Minami and Okinawa Islands. You can see the closest point of approach to Kadena, which is located in Okinawa, is um, around 124 nautical miles, or around 220 to around 250 kilometers east, uh, southeast of Okinawa by um, Tuesday afternoon Japan time. But uh, you can see also the um, 34 knot uh, coverage uh, is uh, brushing the Okinawa Islands, so we could probably expect some tropical storm force gusts um, as it moves closer. Again, this is if the track stays as is. Uh, you know, if if the trends continue, it could push the forecast much closer to Okinawa by the time 
we get to Monday or so. Um, Pagasa, on the other hand, it brings it actually much closer to Okinawa. This is from their 11 a.m. Uh, tropical update. Um, remains the northern outlier among the forecast uh, agencies, although they could be really giving a uh, leaning more towards the consensus computer model. So just continue to to watch the forecast track here as well. And uh, finally, this this is the um, our personal forecast here. Um, again, not official, so basically just leaning more on the uh, model consensus and the 00Z um, data um, from this morning and also expecting this to peak at Category 2 status, again feeding off on the favorable conditions in this region before it starts to weaken as it moves away from Okinawa and also by the time, by Wednesday, so expect this storm to start transitioning into an extratropical cyclone as it uh, interacts with cooler waters and also the baroclinic zone which is situated south of Japan in which that same pattern keeping it south of Honshu probably far enough to not even bring uh, gusty conditions although still uh, continue to, to be monitoring the system because uh, we could probably shift this track to the north as days come uh, go by and um, as we continue to look at the uh, the data but definitely some storm conditions ahead for Okinawa still don't know yet if it's going to be um, typhoon strong or just tropical storm so just keep um, checking our site uh, for the latest and also to the official weather forecast Pagasa JMA and also for, for those who live living in the Kedana Air Base area Kedana weather giving the um, T core or the um, uh, cyclone conditions conditions of redness she's currently at T core 4 which is normal for this time of the year but again she keep checking those sites out for the official forecast and warnings for your um, area storm2k.org for the um, meteorological discussions also observations from from uh, around the world and also near the path of typhoon mawar uh, western pacific weather for the latest updates as well from us uh, as we continue to monitor typhoon mawar but that is all for today thanks for uh, watching again keep checking those sites official sites with which uh, we've um, shown for the official warning and forecast for your uh, respective areas weather.com you can email us with philippine weather for the latest uh, for co comments or any questions or even observations from your area thank you for watching and have a great day